New Delhi, India, a honking hot zone. But Ravi Kalra and his team are trying to put an end to the racket. Honking has spread in the system of the people of this country like a cancer. People don't listen. They think honking is compulsory. They think they can't drive a car without honking. Two or three times a month, Calra's crew of anti-noise activists slap some 200 vehicles with stickers that read, Do not honk. It's an ambitious mission to campaign in a country known for unruly roads and drivers. In the U.S., honking is used in emergencies or to show annoyance. In India, many drivers see it as a way to prevent accidents on chaotic roads. Mr. Kalra says most drivers honk for no good reason at all. Truck drivers in India are known for their super loud musical horns, which are technically illegal. They encourage honking and have the words horn please or blow horn painted on the back of their trucks. Honking is essential. There's always so much traffic. On the highway, we need to honk to avoid both animals and people. And the streets are getting more packed all the time. About 1,100 new cars, bikes and trucks are added to Delhi streets every day. While some say it's too late to change India's honking culture, Ravi Kalra is not giving up. This is exactly why we want to stop vehicles, to increase awareness of unnecessary honking and make the city more peaceful. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Margherita Stancati in New Delhi.